What's well, everybody? Flames will get here playing more near. Uh, I really thought I had an opening thought, and I don't. I don't have one. But we're getting back into it. We got to go to the courtyard, which is down this hallway and on the left. I'm really. I don't love. It should be right around here. Camera somewhere. angle gimmick of the mansion. <laughs> Is this it? Oh no! You know what this specifically reminds me? Oh wait, oh wait, maybe it's... Oh yes, that's a secret entrance. I thought it was just removing our way out. This reminds me, and luckily it looks like it's not going to be as tedious of a puzzle, but it reminds me of the, um... Mr. Stewart's mansion in uh, Deadly Premonition, where you'd have to go into the car courtyard and saw a bunch of, like, sliding tile puzzles. I really expected the second time around the statues here would come to life so that the courtyard would present some sort of challenge, but apparently not. Morning. This facility... I can't read the rest. Something about a seal. Something about no honor here? Wild. If someone bothered to attach a warning to this room, I doubt they will appreciate us forcing our way inside. Ah. You, you good? We're just standing here. Emil. What is it? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm fine. I believe that. If you... I know in some cases in real life, if someone says that, it's like, maybe they just... Maybe it is not a big deal and they just don't want to bring attention to themselves. In any movie, any video game, anything. New technology report, August 7th, 2032. A result in white chlor... Oh, wait, we read this one. Um, testing will begin on previously selected subjects for keeping the procedure safety is top priority. I believe is... Uh, I didn't get around to reading that out loud. Don't let a meal fall too... Blah, phew, getting warmed up today. Don't let a meal fall too far behind. As I was saying, in any fictional work, anytime someone says nothing, it's fine. There's usually something much worse at work. Anyways, I guess we're playing Hades now. Which, for the record, is a game I have not played yet, but I know the basic gist. Right. Okay, he can jog. Emil can. I was not supposed to leave him far behind. And then he... I got a double A key card. Then he just kind of stood stood walking at a slow speed. But no, he can keep up a little bit. I used the double A key card. Hell yeah. Okay, the doors do not appear to close behind me, which is nice. The lad is falling behind. Okay, this might be tedious. Surely it can't be as bad as that KOTOR 2 one I talked about last time, but... Shades. Ow. What the hell? That's, that's, that's new. I haven't had to deal with that before. Not within it. Well, I've been blown back by an attack before, but that one seemed like excessively far away. Can I read the papers? No. read any of these. Why would it be like this if there's nothing to do? Right? Surely there's gotta be something. There's a box! <gasps> uh, that is a weapon. I believe that's the, uh... Ow! Ow! That little orange arrow means it's a weapon specifically, so I definitely gotta pick that up. Okay, that's a door. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Underground facility map, never mind. I guess it's probably just like a big deal item is the deal. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. We don't have too far to go. Man, a meal's good. Instantly petrifying your enemies. Rather useful. Okay, doesn't look like there's much else in there. Just some experience that we farmed. Yeah, I know. So it's weird, I can't... Oh, I can do that in any direction. I think this probably is the best way to, like... This this angle makes the, the most sense, but it was locked, slot next to it, marked K-A. Okay. 
I can say what I was going to say, which is that if I twist, it's a good way of making sure I'm not missing anything in the corner. There's a sparkle that should have shown up. Oh, I guess maybe it was just in the corner enough to not be able to see it. But being able to adjust the camera is very good for making sure I don't miss anything. Even though I definitely did miss a thing just a second ago. Don't worry about that. That doesn't matter. I'm good. I'm good for it. Hell yeah. Okay. Stole my kill a little bit, but that was, that was useful. If you're offering... A lot of big stacks of boxes today. Alright. Anything. Any, aha! You thought. Oh, SA key card. That was probably a uh, requirement. I was about to say, let's let's speculate on what all these uh, abbreviations stand for. And then we got the SA key card, and it's like, let's. Let's just assume that is the, the, the designation of every single thing here. Just it, that's that's what they decided to call it. Doesn't stand for anything. Where would the door for that be, though? Oh wait, it's on the map a little bit. No, it's not. Is this a door? What the fuck? Okay, yeah. Sure. I thought this was a uh, like a big courtyard beyond the walls. But no, that's the ceiling of the facility. Oh, you tried. Two-handed sword, fang of the twins. Let's go ahead and read the lore for that. Weapons are... You don't get too many of those. That is 50% of all the weapons in the game, though. No, don't equip it. It's probably bad. Well, 312 is pretty good, but not even as powerful as uh, some other ones. A giant accursed axe that was bathed in the blood of the young twins before being presented to the gods themselves. Still fucked up. I do. I, I am still really liking Beast Bane. I think we're gonna stick with that. Use the key card. Ah, a lot of a lot at once. Got Ula. Really hard to use the lances in, in non-standard environments, but got the job done. Right? That's everybody? Yeah. Get up, my man. I forget, if you roll out of prone, that's a lot faster. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Get back here. Ow. That was a big chunk. Ow. That was a big chunk, too. Might as well use a bunch of medicinal herbs so I can pick up these medicinal herbs. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything in this room from the way the camera looks. Don't see any sparkles. Okay. What's this? A scrap of paper. Got a new document. Notice, progress report on number six. Uh, December 25th, 2025. Guess they didn't take a break for the holidays. Oh, plan Snow White, by the way. I forgot to read the actual headline. We completed the initial research into number six and are ready to initiate the startup experiment in the coming days. This will likely mark a great leap forward in Gestalt research. The National Weapons Research Laboratory has made the completion of the number six project its top priority. Budgets for all the projects are to be frozen, effective immediately. It would appear this used to be some manner of magical laboratory. This must have been where I was... Emil. 
I'll be okay. We need to keep going. Okay, I'm not questioning, like, are you good to keep going? I'm questioning, like, legitimately what's wrong. You could at the very least tell us, like, oh, I have a headache, or oh, my eyes hurt. Just saying, like, nah, don't worry about it is not helpful in case something super goes wrong. I'm sorry. No, don't, no. That's not what I, no. Don't need that from you. I need you to take responsibility for yourself by trusting in your friends to help you out if you need the help. That's that's how you take care of yourself. Now watch this drive. Got the hill. And look at those combos! I truly don't think the combos mean anything. Aside from that one time I got an achievement for doing it. That was a, that was a positive thing. Maybe I can get to 100 if enough of these guys uh, still fuck around. Nah, there it goes. Missed my chance. Holy shit, guys. Now would be a logical time to use one of those area of effect moves uh, from the magic book, but that requires going into the menu and changing it, and that feels tedious to me, so I just won't do it. That's the problem. Not problem, but that's 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 a thing that uh, I think more games need to work on is this being able to switch weapons is nice, but I'm going to be switching weapons way less often than I'm going to be switching magic. And it's not that big of a deal, but the fact that I have to press the menu button and then go up and then select and then switch to another one is tedious enough that I don't want to do it too much. And the, uh, there's the TA key guard. Um, is this body going to go away? Oh, no, that was, like, I guess, a petrified one that I just didn't uh, get. Um... The other bit, I, the, a game I just played, Bayonetta 3. Also, because I like the idea that every weapon has a different, completely different play style, which affects how you jump and it affects how you sprint, all that. I think that's really cool, but that leads to scenarios where it's like, okay, having this weapon out is obviously the optimal thing to do, but I don't like using that weapon in standard combat. Hey, there's a level up. It's been a while, I think. I've lost track of how often that's happened. It feels like it's been a while. But also... Last I checked, I thought I was level 13, so that's news to me that I'm all the way up to 18. In Bayonetta 3, it's tedious to switch weapons because there's no, like, quick select menu for it. But the game is also one where you are, in for, other, for things that are not combat, you're required to switch weapons to ones you might not use very much. And then once you, you're done doing that thing, you're going to switch back to the weapons you do like. And I think, I mean, technically, if we're talking about literally weapons, this game does have this, which it, it is nice. Again, I'm not trying to discount that. Um, but, like, I, I, I always think back to uh, Assassin's Creed. I don't know if the new ones have this, but in all the Ezio ones, um, you just have a, a weapon wheel that's one click, and then you just tilt the joystick in the direction that you want to select your weapon, and then boom, you, you got it. And that was a very easy, ironically in a game that does not really require to do too much weapon switching um, all that often, it's just more like what feels fun to use in the moment. Uh, Assassin's Creed has one of the smoothest ways of switching weapons. And in this game, it's not as bad because the magic selection, it's not usually like vital for progress. It's just sometimes it might be better one way or the other. Honestly, a little bit baffled. Ooh, that one tried to get away from me. Oh, it's the key card. I needed it, probably. Would have found it eventually. Kind of baffling in a game like Bayonetta that uh, thrives on being a smooth process where every single thing you are meant to... You're, you know, you're rewarded for getting through that game quickly and smoothly and stylishly. And the idea that a lot of the times you just have to completely stop down the game to select a different weapon by having to go into a menu and click through three different things to do it. It's just kind of, it's kind of wild that it doesn't have a, an easily selectable weapon wheel. 
Oh, a big boy. And the way that the camera zoomed in, I thought it was a cutscene, but no, that was definitely a... Oh, that's interesting. I, it makes sense, and I'm glad for it, but it is interesting that if I am shooting my dark blasts, um, the right joystick no longer changes the camera. It just changes the direction of the, the shooting. Uh, that's a smart idea, but... Just a, cool, just a cool thing I've picked up on through my astute senses. What the fuck? Also a little bit weird that there's... Perhaps it's meant to be theming with the dungeon we're in. Oh, uh, combos might give me more experience. Maybe that's, maybe that's a, a practical benefit. I was going to say, it's kind of wild that um, perhaps it's meant to be deliberate theming, but we just ran, we, we've started running into enemies that have armored themselves with physical armor. Then we get to this section and it's like, also here's some magic armor. Here's some orbs of magic that also just give armor. See, that ain't fair. I didn't even get to see what was in there. Sorry, my mans. Why is there a weird stutter whenever I enter and exit those rooms? Is that just a very small loading screen? Okay, don't see any sparkles. Golly. Apparently the, the evil red orb shields also allow them to teleport. Mahira! I've, I'm, be, I'm collecting enough words, I think I should, uh, re-up my auto-select the best words for me, please. I am pretty good at words, but the game also seems good at words, and so I might as well ask it to do words for me so that I can devote brain to not words, and instead let computer do words so I do button. And everybody happy. What? Oh, it's another petrified one. What are we looking at here? Okay, there's no way this room is progress, right? No, it's just a uh, pain. Oh shit, Emil saved me there. I mean, like, it wouldn't have killed me, but Emil did a really cool thing there by petrifying the one that was about to swing down on me. That was cool. No sparklies, huh? That room was just for fun. Well, it's free XP. Ooh, this one looks like it's not just for free XP. No sparkles either, though. Interesting. Are people going to spawn as soon as I get out of the room? Why would this be here? Just for fun? Just for fun, I guess. Also just for fun. That one had a box. Didn't have anything in it, but that was still kind of fun. Ah, these things had things. Ooh. It also might just be a marker for which ones have, like, magic that they can use. Ha! Key card. Ha. Yeah, I bet he is. Come on, I was just talking last time about how I, uh, this game has not been too terrible with its escort mission so far. Why can't you teleport in an epileptic flash of light like Kaine could? Mm -hmm. 
Why doesn't Emil just teleport around? Is he stupid? A lot of old school books. You guys have been studying up. Oh, hey man. Wanna be, <laughs> wanna be let out? I can do that. Big voice. Thank you. I gotta be careful to make sure I'm not missing any rooms here. Let's just cover this wall first. Although, is this the end of the line? Is, is progress in one of these rooms? I don't want to pick the wrong one. Probably that big one, right? Oh, that one's locked. Gotta find a key for the YA novel. There's a Ma key card, which is not the Ya key card. Come on. Thank you. There might be a weapon hidden in these this, this little corner, but I guess not. There's the Ma, so Yaki card will probably be in here. Yeah. There he is. Okay, so this looks like... Unless there's more stairs in this... I'm just shoving a meal around. Do you see that? He was sliding around like a... Bad boy. Can you just, uh... Petrify this, please? Catch a pie, please. Did not expect to be seeing a chonky boy. Really hard to, uh... Really hard to tell where those things are gonna land. Okay. Well, I'll just do this then. Got him, Varu. Nice try. You gonna leave? Thank you. All right, let's go check out this YA fiction they've been keeping from us. Come on, man. I accept that you were not useful against the boss fight. I'm not upset about that. But if you, if the implication is the character is like sorry and uh, apologetic that he's not uh, carrying his weight and it's like I don't mind if you can't beat up the boss but once we're done with the boss keep up that's 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 what I'm asking for here that's all I need from you oh it is more stairs oh just a, maybe just a little bit no there's a tunnel I think got a new document plan snow white notice meeting agenda September 12th 2026 Today's meeting will address the following topics. A solution for long-term storage of number six. A progress report on number seven. Disguising the laboratory's above-ground facility as a mansion. I think that was it. Project number six. Was this some sort of weapons laboratory? Something from the old world, I guess. <laughs> what was I doing here? My man... Just tell me what's up. I have doubts as to whether or not Emil will be able to continue. Fine, let's just go. C clearly not. Please just at least tell us what what specifically feels bad. Okay. I want to make sure... I think that was the whole document, but let me just double check that. Yeah, we're good. 
Um, yeah, I, I think it's... I've, I've been playing my cards probably a little too close to my chest to talk about this. I think it's, it's very fair to point out now. Love that uh, Vice called it a magical laboratory. And it's very clear that this is... You know, the very first report we got where... Um, that Emil found in the mansion telling him to come down here did say it was meant to undo magic. So clearly the people who built this knew what magic was. Like, like that is a thing being dealt with here. But from their perspective, very clearly science fiction. Very clearly not a magic laboratory. It is a scientific laboratory that happens to be dealing with magic in terms of studying it. That's all. Uh, I, I just think that's really cool. Just another little floopy floop. All right, key card. Didn't we already get an RA key card? I was gonna make a joke. No, it was the TA. I was I was gonna make a joke about. Um, college dorm politics, but I got, I, I forgot. We've, we've got one of the assistants of college, but we got the teaching one and then we got the residential one. How many? We have more? Uh, yeah, might as well load up. Yeah. Yeah, we got that room. So anyway, into that room. Oh, they went through the effort of modeling it. Can I go the other way? Nah. Oh, on the map it's fully grayed out. So actually probably not. There's no way in. I'll prepare myself accordingly by looking at that map. <laughs> Word? No boss fighting here? Don't pay any attention to what it looks like. Don't pay attention to the Dead Space 2 vibes of... Oh boy! Are those slides and building blocks and a nice pleasant tree in the middle of the... That's... Actually, hang on! That's a neutral tree! It should, like... It shouldn't be a good tree... But it's dead. But that doesn't make it an evil tree. You know what I mean? It's just it's it's just a sad tree. But it's not big enough to count for that rule I was talking about. Door is locked. We gotta find the wall key. Now is there gonna be a boss fight in here? There we go. Spawning. I thought that might just be that big wave swarming me at right the stop, but no, they. It ain't over till it's over. And now it's a boss fight, boss fight. Oh, with another one of these fuckers. Oh, that arrow shows where it is pointing. That's, that's, okay. I thought that just was one of the spears. Because, you know, it, 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 when you're charging it up, that is what it looks like. Um, but no, that white arrow is not a spear. It is showing the direction that I will be shooting the spears. Like so. Lugresa. Lugestra. I don't know. Please stop hiding from me. It's over for you. Oh, and we have this nice little sparkly it spawned over here. Is it going to be the walkie? No, it's a new document. Where the, where's the walkie? 
Plan Snow White, notice progress report number 6, uh, August 11th, 2025. The donor body Halua has been chosen from among the seven candidate subjects to proceed... Sorry, a, one of those things where it's... I, I, the specific emphasis of the sentence takes me a second to read. The donor body Halua has been chosen from among the seven candidate subjects to proceed on to the next stage. In the interest of protecting state secrets, uh, all but one of the remaining subjects will be disposed of. The donor body, a meal, however, will be kept in storage as a failsafe measure. Hey, Emil, you sure you're okay? I'm sure he's fine. I'm a weapon? What does that even mean? What am I? It seems as if he's trying to remember something. Th thanks, Vice. When he was holding his head and going, Where am I? Why did I come down here? What am I? Am I a weapon? What? <laughs> does, it, does it look like he's trying to remember something? Is that right? You're going to be okay. Your past makes no difference. We'll support you no matter what. At any rate, you would hardly be the first member of our merry band to have issues. <laughs> Got the walkie card too, though. God, I love the delivery on Am I, Am I Really There? Because Emil has just been such a sweet soft boy for all the games so far. And you could easily have the line delivery just be like, you're going to be okay. Am I? Am I really? Like, just kind of keep it innocent. And that line has a very knowing tone of like, am I really? That shows you that he's, Emil's not stupid. He knows that this, this is pretty fucked up. Yeah, let's save. Cause that looks like a, a, a bigger boss fight waiting to happen. Any other? Oh no, the cam- my, I've lost control of the camera now. I don't think there's anything else for me to interact with, so let's move onward. Holy shit. You ever just- you ever just enter a big room and you're like, holy shit, this is a big room. I went to a big theater recently in Detroit. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's pretty fancy. And I got into the main room from the outside, it looks like a lot of the building is just office space, and I think a lot of the, like, windows on the outside-facing wall are. But you get in there, and you go, oh, wait, no, most of the building is this one room, and it's massive. And it's just, you get the tingles of megalophobia. I don't think I consider that an actual phobia that I that I definitively have, but every, every once in a while you'll see something, and it'll make you tingle a little bit. and go, oof, this, this is just a big thing. <laughs> Sometimes I go on the megalophobia uh, subreddit just to feel something, because very little else in life. Oh, there's a cutscene happening. That's some fucking Evangelion shit up there. That's that's really some Evangelion. I didn't notice it was like literally in the crucifix pose. Holy shit. It seems like he's remembering something. Thanks, Vice. We used to be humans. Normal humans. Just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons. So they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Oh, maybe it was a magical Eventually, laboratory. Eventually, they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. 
So they created me. I'm number seven. I'm a... a weapon. Weapon or not, you're still just a meal to us. Come on, we gotta speed run the, uh... Thank you. Uh, we're friends development here. We, we're trying to save Kaede. We don't really have time for this. <laughs> the, uh... The, the, the mixture of the casual delivery and the quickness with which he responded really made it seem like <laughs> Nier was just like, nope, no existential crises today. Come on, man. We're good. We're good. You're a meal. You're just a good kid. I, I know this might seem like you're going to go into a whole Shinji monologue here, but trust me, we're good. We can keep on moving. Not only Evangelion, this also has uh, the shape of this thing as Griffith vibes of just like super sp uh, when he when he gets in prison super spindly uh, arms and uh, uh, limbs and body but then just the big bulbous head because they they have him keep the helmet on um, uh, very much uh, reminds me of that as well there's something very grotesque about uh, the shape of that I think both Mira and uh, Yoko Taro knew how to capitalize on that um, I don't think there's anything really to do aside from talk to Emil. Yeah, okay, so just, we just get to run around if we want, and then carry on. 